feel like it has been an entire year since I have done a vlog, so I apologize to you guys. I've been a little bit busy um, and all over the place trying to get a grip um, on my life. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best, uh, despite the chaos and the heat, to update you guys a little bit on what's been going on because I feel bad that I haven't had time to do the vlog and I miss you guys. So um, we'll see where we go today. <laughs> Summer is in full effect. It is hot, humid, and buggy as all get out. I was a little mentally fried out last week, so I decided to go to Florida for a couple days. Summer has kind of been insane as we have some new clients and our summer boarders are here and kids are out of school and my coach is gearing up for a two star. So it's just been a little wild. Um, I feel like I, I feel like I don't even know where to start, but I went to Larkin Hill with Z, which was something that we'll re we will rehash later. <laughs> and we just uh, had the Laney Clinic last weekend, which I will also rehash later. Um, but I've been mostly focusing on riding Z and all of the crazy barn work and things that we've been doing to prep to get ready to go to Vermont next week. So. You guys know how it works. Um, if you are working at a farm or riding at a farm, summer is always insanity. All clients are here, kids are out of school. It's just been crazy busy and I've been trying to keep up with just the barn chaos. So I haven't had as much time to just like chit chat along. However, the most exciting thing that I wanted to share with you guys today is that Flo and Goose are home. I've been calling them Flo and Co. Baby Goosey is here and he is as cute as ever. Hi, Flo Mama. Hi. He is huge. He is surely going to be a full-size horse. I can already rest my elbow on him, which is just crazy. Um, but he's been doing so well. He leads and halters. I bathe him. I try to sh throw in some videos here if I have some. Um, I rinse him with water. We're working on all the other stuff. So I've been so busy with handling baby and learning how to work with baby and all those things. So that's been super exciting too, along with all the other chaos. Rexy has been doing super well. He feels super fit and ready. I've also been putting conditioning rides on him. 
So you're getting a feel for why I haven't had time to just walk around and film myself <laughs> in the chaos. Richie's also been doing so well. He's been in full training and he's a star. Hi, Richard. I haven't, I haven't taken his fly gear off yet. Hey. We're kind of walking and talking this morning because I know that in about 30 minutes it's gonna be complete chaos <laughs> because it's gonna be super hot today, um, like 95. Hey, buddy. He's already a total breakfast hog. Anyways, I was saying, I know everybody's gonna be here riding super early, so trying to do some of catching you guys up while I feed breakfast this morning. I've honestly been going through like a whirlwind of emotions recently with um, Doppler and my riding and all of those things. I just felt really firmly in my heart that after this injury, Doppler didn't need to compete at the novice level anymore. So that's been a lot of emotions for me to kind of work through. You know, I love him so much and I so de desperately want to compete him, but I also love him so much and want what's best for him. So that was a just emotional decision to make. And I'm, um, I'm still riding him, but I'm just enjoying flatting him for now and keeping him happy and sound. You know, at the end of the day, I care a lot more about him staying happy and healthy and sound than I do about a competition and while that's a hard decision to make because I love competing um, you know I, I battled with that a little bit and I just felt like my gut said this is what's best for him so came to that decision since I last talked to you guys he is beyond happy I've been calling him the mayor of the farm he loves just chilling and doing flat work I think he's living his best life and while it was a tough decision to make, I know in my heart that it was the right decision. My gut was telling me that he was ready to step down. So he's happy and sound. And like I said, the mayor of the farm right now. With that being said, I have therefore invested all of my efforts into Z's training. Which has also kind of been a roller coaster of emotions. You know, I haven't trained a ton of horses in my life in general, and I definitely haven't worked with a lot of tough horses. So it's been a new learning experience for me, and um, I I'm I feel really happy with the progress, but it's just a different journey. So it's been um, emotional and mental in a different way. fine with being by himself. He's not like glued to mom. Come on. He also loves the automatic water, which I think is adorable. <laughs> Goosey. Do you want some scratches? Do you want some scratches? Hi. Oof, come back. Let me get you. He's shedding. Come closer. He's very friendly. Come closer. I'll stretch you. He got his sketches. I 
I just freshly pulled his tail. Where to begin with the Z story? Um, I didn't really go into detail about the Larkin Hill competition that we went to because it was a little bit chaotic. I kind of decided to go as a training experience because some clients were going and um, he was clearly more fit. We improved our dressage quite a bit and our show jump, I would say. Um, however, the cross country was a little unrideable. Um, he's been a kind of a funny horse to figure out because he, he's hot in the sense that he's, well, he's not hot per se, but he's heavy and like numb in the mouth, but he's also extremely sensitive to what kind of bit you put in your, his mouth. Um, so I've put multiple bits in his mouth now that he's been like, absolutely not. I will stop rear, stop a jumps, whatever. So we tried, um, he's too heavy and numb and a snaffle for me. And, um, <laughs> on the opposite end of the spectrum, I think, you know, he struggles in everything that's a little bit harsher that I put in his mouth. Um, like a three ring elevator style bit. I try to mix them. Um, or, I mean, a uh, Mi'kmaq <laughs> bit. Um, so, all of that to say that this weekend, uh, we have the Laney Clinic, and I've been taking weekly lessons with um, Bully, who is a five-star rider based out of Millbrook. And we've been making really good progress on the flat and, um, you know, small jump exercises with the turning and the steering. And so, um, I went into the Laney Clinic this weekend feeling pretty confident in our progress and, um, you know, Laney wanted to play around with the bits and, um, you know, I think Laney likes to push people a little bit and so, um, we just kind of struggled with meshing. Um, we tried a water for it in his mouth, which, um, I just feel like I didn't get enough time to ride in it to know if I liked it or not. So just kind of a different feeling. So I kind of feel like we're at a crossroad um, with trying to figure out what to do for him next. Um, so I'm going to ride with Bully today. Um, maybe we'll try the water for it. I'm not sure. I kind of want to pow out with Bully about it. Um, but, you know, mentally I was feeling a little frazzled and losing some confidence out cross country just from feeling like I didn't have a good ride feeling. And he's a really tough horse for me to ride at this point. So um, we'll kind of see where that goes from there. Like I said, I'm figuring out bits. I got a, a dressage saddle for him um, because I haven't had one that fits him and me well. So we're working on that as well, um, and just trying to put all the pieces together. You know, he's a tough horse to figure out, and that's just something that's new for me. You know, I've been enjoying the challenge, but it can also be a little bit, um, frustrating is not even the right word. Um, really, honestly, in my opinion, emotional at times, because I feel like I'm trying so hard to improve my riding and I'm trying so hard to do best by him and support him and um, sometimes I'm just not able to do that and that's frustrating for me. Um, you know, I don't want to fail him in the trainings, which is why I've been deferring to people that are better riders than me, professionals. Um, you know, I have to remind myself that as much as I hope that I'm you know, doing really well. I am still an amateur and I am still relatively new to the eventing sport. And as much as I really want uh, to move up to the training level, you know, we're clearly not there yet together. Um, it's both me and the horse. So it's just been a, a learning experience. And, um, you know, I like to, to talk about those things and be honest about those things because, um, you know, I, I feel like a lot of times we don't talk about like the mental side of it and you know it's hard to come off a horse that's so well trained like Doppler and just needs you to put all the pieces together to coming to a very green horse and 
you know, honestly, I've just lost a little bit of confidence in myself in trying so hard to to make him more rival. So it's, it's been a learning curve. Um, we are supposed to go to Vermont next week. We'll see how that goes. Rexy's gonna write his two star, which I'm super excited about. I will definitely be vlogging some of that experience as I can because I'm super excited for that. We're up there for quite a few days. And um, yeah, so I feel like that pretty much catches you guys up on where I've been at. You know, I decided to retire Doppler from the novice level and competing and um, you know, I have been working through, um, you know, some mental confidence issues and training issues and bidding issues. So on top of the summer chaos, <laughs> um, that's just been a lot. Anyways, I feel like that mostly catches you guys up today. If not, if there's anything that I feel like I'm missing, please comment below, ask questions. I love when you guys do. I hate saying it, but please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a ton. Let me know what you wanna see. I will be trying to vlog between now and Vermont if I can, um, but also we'll be headed to Vermont next week so for the Festival of Eventing. So I'll definitely be vlogging that. See, bye bye, Rixie. See you guys soon. <laughs>